Okay, in this video what we're going to be talking about is adding some controls to the state machine that we have um, just to kind of clarify some things and before we move on to the MAPC we want to make sure that we have a healthy state machine. So um, first and foremost what we need to do uh, before we do a couple of these other functions is we need to monitor the um, axis group. So in our, our case our group motion group is called motion group. So what we need to do is come in here and throw in a tag that says, um, or use the tag, I'm sorry, for a motion group and to make sure that the group is synced. Um, this, what it does is verify that the group is um, happy and that the servo controls are able to be um, utilized as far as they won't fault out and stuff like that. Um, another uh, thing that I like to do is come in here and actually verify that the uh, instruction did actually happen. So I'll come in here and <coughs> uh, use the done bit and uh, therefore you know you actually know that it, it did that function. Um, secondly what I like to do instead of just having the only thing that clears my um, state which in this case <clears throat> what we need to do is change this to a clear is a clear um, and then put state right here and then so the only thing that would take that and change that to a zero would be either a the first scan of the processor or um, come in here and add in another scenario so if the shutdown happens, so if the shutdown actually happens for some reason, or if a fault happens, so we'll drag this over here, um, then you still want to be able to throw the state machine into an unhealthy state, right? So you want to stop control, stop motion, um, stop anything that, that, you know, happens. So if a fault happens, you definitely want to stop the machine and you want to stop the servo from, from working. The um, shutdown, again, the shutdown status, if it goes into a shutdown status, it's generally commanded to go into a shutdown status, but you still need to monitor that to say, look, the state machine needs to go into a healthy state. So that's another um, thing right there that I put in. Um, secondly, when you come down to faults, um, you need to make sure that you're only resetting one of these at a time. <clears throat> so therefore if it is shut down, I want to I want to reset the shutdown. If it is faulted, then I want to reset a fault, right? So um in this case you don't want to you know, you want to be able to block it from um from doing both of them at one time. So in in that case you want to have um, the shutdown bit not shut down status and then um, the fault not um, you know not equal to zero then you would reset the fault in this case of a shutdown you would want to actually monitor the fault status and say that it is equal to a zero so in that case you want to basically say the same thing you're saying here so and paste that in there now you can <clears throat> being that you're monitoring this and that and not doing this you can just leave this out of here um it really you know it really depends on how you want to go about it um they're not going to happen at the same time so you know as far as that goes you can just monitor the shutdown status and then monitor the um the access if it's not in a fault then do the fault and then if it's in a shutdown status and by some chance it is faulted out which i guess could occur you still need to to reset the shutdown status first um therefore you know like i said you can leave that out if you wanted to um but in that that same focus um you want to make sure that the shutdown status oh, oh actually move that um then you want to make sure that the and notate why I did that. Um, you can always come up back up here to edit if you're in edit mode and go do undo. So you can do undo, redo. You can do, you know, that helps. So I just wanted to kind of highlight the uh, couple pertinent things about that too. 
and you can you can actually do the um monitor the done bits if you wanted to but i i generally don't on this fault reset rung because of the fact of you you want to make sure you don't know if this one fired or if this one fired so you can do either or but in the same token if you're in state one and you're not and there's nothing shut down or nothing faulted out you're just going to bypass and you're just going to go to straight two uh, you're going to go to state two so you don't need to monitor the done bits of, of this one and this one that's um that's something that you don't really need to do at all again i like to <clears throat> make sure that my uh, motion group down here is on and synced up and everything's fine um and I just like to do that just to make sure that everything is good. Um, you know, as far as that goes, I'm, I'm able to control whatever I need to control. Um, as far as the off, you can have the off, like you can have up here, copy. And then what we'll do is come back and throw in a state that says if this is not on <clears throat> and it is in state three so we'll say I'll come up here and copy this and say paste here and uh, the current state is equal to three then we want to be able to shut back off All right so in the case that we're in right now if I started the system right <clears throat> it came down and it came down to two and now if I cut my servo on and I cut it back off then it cuts off so that's actually kind of what we want we can actually put another protection in here to say um, <clears throat> if the action status is on we want to make sure we can cut it back off so in the case that you just seen see if we can get the wrong there you cut it on the on bit is obviously the this would be like a control bit say from a, a push button or an HMI or something then it's on and able to be functioned if you cut it off of course the action status has to be off it has to be in state 3 and you will issue it off therefore it has to pass back through the um, it has to pass back through the logic right here. It has to pass back through the uh, shutdown logic and the fault reset logic so that it knows it's, it's back healthy as far as that goes. So um, <clears throat> real quick, we know that's just some, some other key things that I wanted to kind of throw in there as far as the, the um, state on and off of the uh, Axis 1. So without add, you know adding the videos too long and everything we'll go ahead for the sake of the the time limit so we'll go ahead and conclude this video and after that we'll start um, pick up pick back up and uh, actually come in and start doing our mapcs and our camming and it probably will be another two videos and then you know it'll be actually done so i just wanted to make sure that um you know we got the proper things into the state machine to actually control it to a good healthy state Again, um, thank you for being part, and thank you for your support. So we'll carry on to the next video. And uh, again, I know how these will release on different platforms. So I do know that um, you know on some platforms, if you're not part of it already, um, you need to be part of it to, to get some of this training. Other platforms, um, I, I still, either way, I appreciate your support, and hopefully everything's going well. All right, thank you.